the Broglie hypothesis of matter waves. By 1924, it became evident that light has dual nature. The phenomena like interference, diffraction, polarization, etc. are explained by using wave nature of light. The phenomena of photoelectric effect, Compton effect, etc. are explained by using particle nature of light. In 1924, Louis de Broglie put forward the suggestion that matter also has a dual nature. That is, matter which is made up of discrete particles might exhibit wave-like properties under appropriate conditions. To put forth his theory, de Broglie made following arguments. First, nature loves symmetry. Therefore, the two fundamental entities, matter and energy must be mutually symmetrical as regards to their properties. Since light, as believed to have only wave nature, exhibited particle nature, the material particles must have wave nature also when in motion. The waves associated with a moving particle are called matter waves. He suggested that certain basic physical concepts should apply to both the fundamental entities, named waves and particles. We know that the energy of photon of frequency nu is given as E is equal to H nu, this is equation 1. The rest mass of photons is 0. If m is mass of photon in motion and c is its speed, then according to theory of relativity, the energy of photon is given by E is equal to mc square, this is equation 2. Therefore, from equations 1 and 2 we get H nu is equal to mc square, equation 3. The photon travels with speed c in free space. Therefore, its momentum p will be p is equal to mc. Therefore, equation 3 becomes h nu is equal to pc. Since c is equal to nu lambda, where lambda is wavelength, we get h nu is equal to p nu lambda. Therefore, h is equal to p lambda or lambda is equal to h by p. De Broglie put forward his hypothesis that this equation for photon can be applied to moving particles also. If the particle of mass m moves with speed v, its momentum p is m into v. Therefore, wavelength associated with moving particles is lambda is equal to h by mv. The wavelength of moving particles given by this equation is called de Broglie wavelength. It is to be noted that the velocity of the de Broglie waves or matter waves associated with a moving particle is not necessarily the velocity of the particle. This means these two velocities are different. Let u be the velocity of matter wave associated with moving particle, then u is equal to nu lambda, equation 6, where nu is frequency of wave. Let's put the value of lambda from equation 5. u is equal to nu h by mv or h nu by mv. But h nu is energy, which is equal to mc squared. Therefore, u becomes mc square by mv or c square by v. Thus, two different velocities are associated with a moving particle. One refers to the mechanical motion of the particles, v. And the other refers to the velocity of the associated matter wave, u. These two velocities are connected by this equation. Let's take some numerical examples. Calculate the wavelength associated with a particle of mass, 2 gram, moving with velocity of 3.31 to 5 km per second. Here, mass m is 2 gram, is equal to 2 into 10 to power minus 3 kilogram. 
and velocity v is 3.31 to 5 kilometers per second which is 3312.5 meters per second therefore momentum p is equal to m into v is equal to 2 into 10 to power minus 3 into 3312.5 which comes 6625 into 10 to power minus 3 kilograms meter per seconds therefore the wavelength is lambda is equal to h by p which is 6.6 .6 to 5 into 10 to power minus 34 divided by 6625 into 10 to power minus 3 is equal to 10 to power minus 34 meter calculate the de broglie wavelength of an electron moving with speed one tenth of the velocity of light mass of electron m is 9.1 into 10 to power minus 31 kilograms and velocity of electron is one tenth of the velocity of light therefore v is equal to c by 10 which is 3 into 10 to power 8 meters per second divided by 10. It comes 3 into 10 power to 7 meters per second. Planck's constant is 6.6 .6 to 5 into 10 power to minus 34 joules second. Therefore, momentum of electron will be 9.1 into 10 power to minus 31 kilograms into 3 10 power to 7 meters per second which comes 2.73 into 10 power to minus 23 kilograms meter per seconds. And finally, the wavelength of electron is given by lambda is equal to h by p, which is 6.6 .6 to 5 into 10 power to minus 34 divided by 2.73 into 10 power to minus 23. This comes 0.234 into 10 power to minus 10 meters or 0.234 angstrom. Obtain an expression for the de Broglie wavelength associated with an electron accelerated through V volts. Also find the wavelength for 100 volts and 54 volts. The kinetic energy acquired by the electron accelerated through V volts is half m v square is equal to e v therefore m v square is equal to 2 e v and m square v square is equal to 2 m e v or m v is equal to root 2 m e v but m v is momentum p therefore p is equal to root 2 m e v now wavelength associated with electron lambda is equal to h by p which is equal to h by root 2 mev this is the final expression for the de broglie wavelength lambda associated with an electron accelerated through v volts now let's calculate the wavelength for an electron accelerated with 100 volts we know that Mass of electron m is equal to 9.1 into 10 power to minus 31 kilograms. Planck's constant h is equal to 6.6 .6 to 5 into 10 power to minus 34 joules second. And charge of electron e is equal to 1.6 into 10 power to minus 19 columns. Using all these values in above equation, we get lambda is equal to 6.6 .6 to 5 into 10 power to minus 34 divided by root 2 into 9.1 into 10 power to minus 31 into 1.6 into 10 power to minus 19 into v which comes 12.27 into 10 power to minus 10 divided by root v meters for v is equal to 100 volts lambda is equal to 12.27 into 10 power to minus 10 divided by root 100, which is 1.67 angstrom. Similarly, for V is equal to 54 volts. 